everyone. For today's video, we will discuss about the different types of arc. Before we discuss the different types of arc, let me just define first an arc. An arc is a curved portion of the circumference of the circle. So there are three different types of arc, namely the minor arc, the major arc, and the semicircle. So what is the difference between these three arcs? So let's focus first with the minor arc. Say for example, we have here circle A. Arc PD is a minor arc. It is because the measurement is less than 180 degrees. So we can say that an arc is a minor arc if the measurement of this arc is less than 180 degrees. Now let's move on to the second type of arc which is the major arc. We have here circle B. Arc ZYX is what we call the major arc. It is because the measurement of this arc is more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Now let's go to the third one. We have semicircle. So from the word semi, that means it's half of the circle. So if we have here circle C, we have actually two semicircles here. We have here semicircle PSR and semicircle PQR. We call that one semicircle if the measurement of this arc is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's have an example to further recognize the different types of arcs. So for example, we have here circle O. And let's identify the following in circle O. We have to name the minor arcs, the semicircles, and the major arcs that contains point R. So let's focus first with the minor arc. Again, minor arcs have measurements which is less than 180 degrees. Let us name those minor arcs. So we have here minor arc QR, arc RS, arc ST, and arc TQ. So we have four minor arcs here because these are the arcs which measures less than 180 degrees. Now let us proceed to naming the semicircles in circle O. So we have here semicircle RST, semicircle STQ, semicircle TQR, and semicircle QRS. So by the way, when you name a semicircle, you use three capital letters. Now let's move on to the major arcs that contains point R. So just like the semicircle, we name major arcs using three capital letters. The measurement of the major arc is actually greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. The major arcs that contains point R are the following. We have here major arc RTQ, major arc SQR, major arc TRS, major arc QST. So those are the major arcs that contains point R. So now we can proceed to the next example. In example number two, we will focus on computing the measurement of the arc. So say for example, we have here circle A, and then we have the given, if measurement of arc PTD is equal to 250 degrees, then what is the measurement of arc PD? So let's focus on computing for the measurement of arc PD, given that PTD is equal to 250 degrees, and then PD is unknown yet. Just a little trivia, the degree measure of a circle is equal to 360 degrees. If arc PTD is given to be 250 degrees, what do you think is the measurement of PD? We just have to copy 360 degrees and subtract 250 degrees from it for us to be able to get the measurement of the arc PD. So if you get the difference of this, you'll get 110 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of arc PD is equal to 110 degrees. That's how easy it is. Now, let's proceed to the last example for this video. For the last example, we have here circle O. If measurement of arc ST is equal to 50 degrees, then what is the measurement of arc QT and arc QR? So the only given in this problem is arc ST, which is 50 degrees. Then we have to find for the measurement of arc QT and arc QR. So let us focus first in identifying the measurement of arc QT. So you will notice that arc QT is actually connected to the semicircle QTS. 
In the beginning of our discussion, I told you that the measurement of the semicircle is equal to 180 degrees. So we will use this information for us to get the measurement of QT. So we know that semicircle QTS is equal to 180 degrees. Then we just have to subtract the measurement of ST from 180 degrees for us to get the measurement of QT. So subtracting these two, we will have 130 degrees. Therefore, measurement of RQT is equal to 130 degrees. Now let us proceed to identifying the measurement of QR. Look at QR. It is actually connected to the semicircle TQR and then we know that the semicircle TQR is equal to 180 degrees and then we subtract the measurement of QT from 180 so that is 130 degrees. Getting the difference of these two will have 50 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of QR is equal to 50 degrees. So here's our final conclusion. We have here, therefore, measurement of arc QT is equal to 130 degrees and the measurement of QR is equal to 50 degrees. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to update you on my next video.